want to tell you a little something about a guy named Rambo Wrath for Life. That's his YouTube username. He uploads what I find to be entertaining review slash rants on various film properties. These are quite long, uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, up to 90 minutes. Uh, you got well over an hour in some of these. And they're not visually oriented. This is something I listen to when I'm designing, editing, doing something else. I have this on in the background. It's keeping me entertained. Well, because his reviews are nearly feature link, YouTube just goes and says, ah, let's just put the content ID tool on them. Yeah, that's what we'll do. What's the content ID tool? It says, oh, you're doing a review of a movie, huh? And it happens to be over an hour long. Well, clearly, you have pirated that movie. It's YouTube's lazy effort to police the content. Going to fight piracy by claiming people are stealing when they have nothing but themselves talking to the camera. Now, I've been a victim of this myself. Uh, my movie reviews have, I think just about every one of them, when I had trailer footage in there, had content ID uh, claims against them. I had uh, sheets of email saying I stole materials. I need to clear this up. Yeah, stole. Sure. I'm using freely distributed trailer footage that's used for the promotion of a movie. And I'm doing so in a critique of the film, which is fair use by U.S. letter of law. And uh, AP does the same thing. So, who am I stealing from? Most of the time, it was said to be the Associated Press because they have this in their video. Clearly, I'm an untalented nobody from the Midwest and have stolen their video. Obviously, that's what happened. So, Google punishes you for doing the same thing as the big guys and looking the other way when they do it because they have the YouTube content ID tool automating the process for them.